Welcome everybody to Dream Alliance Leadership Call. Today is February, oh my gosh, no. Today's March 1st, 2016. March is one of my favorite months of the year because it contains March 14th. Think about it, think about it. It'll come to you, it'll come to you. Okay, I wanna share something with you guys really quick before we get started. Yesterday, late, they actually launched the 22-minute um, hardcore, which is super cool. So I'm going to try. I've never tried to do this before. We are going to do this together because I feel like togetherness is good. So here we go really quick before we get started. You guys will have to tell me whether or not you can see this because I've never tried this before. So this is gonna be really cool if it works. Okay, can you guys see YouTube or no? Like somebody unmute and tell me if you can see YouTube. Yes. Awesome, that's my Kathy, she's always got my back. Okay. Yup, I see it. All right, here we go. Ready? Tony Horton has toured military bases all over the world, helping troops train to their maximum fitness potential. Inspired by the no-nonsense simplicity of basic training, Tony decided to make it his mission to bring military-style workouts to everyone. Now, it's your mission for 22 minutes to give him every breath. This is 22 Minute Hardcore. This is Hardcore! It's me, and it's, and it's real fast. Can you talk? Are you ready? To, let's go. Hardcore. 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 This full body workout. There's sweating, there's tears, you lose every single muscle. It's just like being in the military. When you go down with all that gear, you gotta get up and get moving again. Get on the ground, get on your face, get it done. Uh, guys, it's intense. You need 22 minutes. It is fast, it is simple, and it is intense. Like your morning PT. My personal hunt to the men and women of the armed forces who keep themselves in fighting shape. You the finish line? You walk to it? Hardcore. That's it. Back to basics. I designed 22 minute hardcore without a lot of complex moves. The moves in 22 minute hardcore are set to a cadence. And it's your mission to give me every single rep at my pace. Come on now. Let me hear it. Get low. Get down. Get busy. It's only 22 minutes. Make it count. This is it. I want sweat. 22 minute hardcore is not easy. But you didn't ask for easy. You ask for a simple approach to fitness that will get you the results without a lot of complex moves. Now fall in line and let's get you in the best shape of your life. Three, two, one. Get some. 2016. Wow. Okay, let me get that shut off and get the screen share off. Wow, did you guys get to see that with me? Like, were you there with me? That is intense. Okay, so Tony may not be your jam because we have all these amazing trainers. Tony is the face of Beachbody. So whether he's your jam or not, embrace this program and run with it. He was one of our original um, celebrity trainers. He was one of our cornerstone foundation runners of the game when we first started years and years and years ago. It was Carl, John, Tony. Um, not too long ago after that, of course, Steve Edwards um, came on board. And so, you know, Tony it has a huge following. He has a monstrous following and what he's doing with this program is just super intense um, and it's you know a lot of us have a lot of military connection so use that to your advantage because 
I love the idea of it being 22 minutes because nobody has time. I love the idea that it's on sale in the challenge pack. You guys should have gotten your coach um, email to see this, the sale promotions. And yeah, like Carolyn's saying, she can use it to train for these, these mud runs and stuff. So it's really um, quite amazing. I'm really excited about this launch. I want all of us to get really excited about this launch. So post something on the team page that really has you pumped up about 22 minute hardcore. Um, because there's a ton there to be pumped up about. Just having a brand new program by Tony is a lot to be pumped up about. So we are going to jump right in. There's tons of stuff that I can be covering with you guys tonight because it is the first of the month. And I love the first of the month because there's just all kinds of cool stuff happening. It's a fresh start for your success club points. It's a fresh start for your um, coach recruit goals, all of those things are fresh. You get a fresh slate. It's like you wake up and you're refreshed and you have your whole month ahead of you and you can, whatever happened last month, whether it was a huge success or a huge failure, this month starts today. You can change the game or you can keep running the ball today. It can all be fresh. So that's super exciting, but I won't get hung up on all of that. I won't go there tonight because we have a super, super, super special guest. One of my dearest friends that I actually met through the wall. I don't know if you guys have heard of, there is a group on Facebook. It's called The Wall. It was originally um, ran and hosted by Brett Blake when he was still with Beachbody. And it's been taken over by um, Jeff and Carl and Michael. And it's basically for only for five star and above coaches. And we've grown by leaps and bounds in there. I think when I was added to the wall, we were at like 120 people maybe. And now, I don't know, there's probably over 300 people in there at least at this point. So I met this beautiful woman through this group. Um, her name is Brianne Wetzel. She and I have been friends for, gosh, it's been a little while since you were promoted to five stars. So that's exciting. She yeah. is currently a six star diamond coach. That's huge because that means that she's developed six diamond coaches just in her first CBC and she's seven star qualifying. So you've actually got seven there then. Um, she's a two star in her second business center. She's been a coach with Beachbody since January of 2013. So if we do some math, that's a little over three years. So she's accomplished a ton in the amount of time that she's been with us. And she's, of course, anytime you're talking about a leader, Success Club is a huge part of that story because you guys know that every good coach does Success Club. Like it's just part of the equation. So she's Success Club 10 legend, 36 months. She's also a two-time elite coach. It is my honor and privilege to introduce to you guys Brianne Wetzel. She's going to be teaching us tonight on overcoming our fears. Brianne? Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you for what I unbelievable welcome hi guys so i hope i can live up to that hype um thank you so much for having me and thank you all of you guys my gosh for hopping hopping on and um listening to me sort of ramble for the next probably half an hour um so i'll give you the very very short version of my story um Yes, I've been a coach for just over three years, and I was one of those people who signed up for $39.95 because I wanted to save money on my Shakeology. Um, my mom at the time was a brand new coach, and uh, she knew nothing about signing me up, but told me that I had to drink Shakeology. Um, and when I say that we were... Um, Beyond broke, it's probably the understatement of the century. Um, my husband had just been out of work not long before I signed up um, due to an injury. We had babies at home and all of our credit cards that had been paid off were ran back up putting the electric bill on, um, on credit cards and the um, 
you know, the phone bill, the utilities, the oil bill. We were living in Northwestern Connecticut at the time. Um, and I just remember thinking that there just, there has to be something out there that's, you know, going to fix whatever's going on with us. And my mom walked in and I told her that Shakeology was too much money and I wasn't going to spend that drinking a shake. Um, I was the biggest skeptic when it came to Shakeology. And thankfully, she didn't give up on me. And after three months, she wore me down. And I bought a bag of Shakeology. And a week later, I ate my words because I mean, we all know what it's like that first week that we're drinking Shakeology. I tell people it makes you feel like Superman. Like there is no other way to kind of describe it. Um, when you don't eat well, when you don't eat enough food, when you're not eating the right foods and your body's not fed, um, and then you put this magic shake, as I like to call it, into your life, you just can't believe how good you feel. Um, and I knew that I had to have it, but we just, there was like, no matter where I tried to pull money from, there just wasn't money to pull from anywhere. Um, and my mom had said, I tell you what, she said, you pay the $39.95 to sign up. I will buy you your first bag of Shakeology. My birthday was in December and that was my birthday gift in January where she was going to buy my bag. And she said, but you have to pay the $15 a month um, to keep your discount account. And I said, okay, I'll try it. Like, let's see what we can do. And I, I came online and, um, you know, my background is um, law and like my dad, who's an attorney trained me to do. I was the person who read the PNP front, you know, cover to cover when I signed up and I sat down and I read the compensation plan and I thought, you know what, this is, this is it. This is that opportunity that's just going to check yes to everything that we've been looking for. And you mean I only have to find three people to buy Shakeology and it'll cover my shake? I have like 500 Facebook friends. I could find three people. And that was honest to goodness how I jumped into my business was three people at a time. And if I could find three people, I could pay for my shake. And if I could find three more people, my husband, who was 50 pounds overweight at the time with high blood pressure um, and early stage Crohn's disease, um, could have his shake for free. And if I could find three more people, then I could make a hundred bucks and cover my groceries. And that's how I built the beginning of my business was three people at a time. Um, and I want to talk to you guys tonight about um, your fears and you know, we often say um, that we can't do something. When we think about why we can't, it's not that we can't do it. It's that we're afraid we won't be able to. So um, the fear of inviting is something that is very real. I think we've all sort of felt that. We've had that freeze up kind of moment. We want to talk to somebody, but we don't know what to say or how to approach them or where to begin or how to not sound salesy or have that fear of rejection. And then before we know it, we've psyched ourselves up so much that we overcomplicate the entire business. Um, yeah. And that fear cripples you. There's fears that cripple me. And I think we've all sort of felt that. And it's almost like an anxiety of, of inviting. Um, but you don't have to be. So what I want to do tonight is I hope you guys have a pen and paper or you're taking notes because I'm going to give you a little bit of background on how I sort of talk to my coaches, how, you know, talk them out of sort of facing that fear and giving them some really concrete, um, uh, you know, phrases and things to go by and ways to sort of kind of simplify it in your head. Um, and then I'm going to give you my top five tips, concrete tips to overcome your fears. So kind of where I usually start is, you know, we talk about the vital behaviors and the vital be, they're vital for a reason. They are the lifeline of your business. And I know that they talk about there's a fourth vital behavior. I don't buy into that. There's three vital behaviors. There always will be. <laughs> And I think of it as like a three-legged stool. And if you kick one of those legs out, your business will fall flat. The fear of inviting or the behavior of inviting, I should say, is in my opinion, probably the most important because it's where your pipeline comes from. It's where your business is going to come from. It's where hitting success club is going to come from, getting customers, recruiting coaches. It's, that's where it's going to come from. Unfortunately, it's probably the most skipped 
of the behaviors um, because people get afraid and they sort of get paralyzed by it. And they'll say, well, um, I want to get to diamond in 60 days. And I, and I invited one person today. Mm -mm. Not going to cut it. Um, so we're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about how to really sort of, how to really sort of combat that. So why do we get that fear? Why is that fear so real? What, why? And a lot of it is, you know, the fear of rejection. Um, people telling us no, people thinking that what we do is stupid or people thinking that what we do is dumb or it's a scam. And you know what? They can think that all they want. Because here's one thing, and Christina Delgado said this, and she actually posted it in the wall um, not too long ago. Actually, it was when she hit the Millionaire's Club, and I remembered it, and it's something that stuck with me. And here's the thing, guys. People can say what they want. People can think what they want. They can choose to think that this business is dumb or it's silly. And, you know, Christina was kind enough to rattle off my, my list of what you would call maybe accolades in this business. I still have family members that think what I do is crazy. And you know what? It's fine. Because every single person on this call tonight will make it to the Millionaire's Club. Unless you quit. Unless you let that fear take you over and you let that fear get the best of you. So don't do that. You know, we don't want to sound salesy. Obviously, we're not in the business of sales. We are in the business of helping people. We are in the business of changing lives. And we are in the business of sharing our stories. So how do we combat that? We want to, um, I'm trying to think of how I, how I want to start this. So we talk about that it's the most skipped behavior. But here's the thing. This business is life-changing. Okay. This business can do so much for your health, for your financial stability, your financial, whatever you want to call it. Um, it could do so much for you as a person, for your soul. I feel like they, one thing that they don't tell you in the welcome book, when you sign up and you become a coach and you get that little box in the mail with your little DVD in it is they don't tell you how the friendships that you make in this business will enrich your soul and help you change lives. And, you know, your customers that you, you become friends with and they become a part of your lives. Invite them. Why wouldn't you do that? You know, I, I mentioned this yesterday. Christina was kind enough to do our call yesterday. And um, I said this yesterday, and it's something that I always talk about with the fear of inviting. You know, we talk about that this business is life changing. Um, and if you guys follow Vito LaFada on Facebook, I'm a huge Vito fan. He um, is just somebody who exudes confidence and passion and excitement for this business. He said to a bunch of us that, you know, this business is life changing. We have the cure for obesity in one hand and the cure for being broke in the other. Why would we ever want to deprive somebody of being a part of that? Why would you ever want to deprive somebody um, of that and just, you know, not, not, share this opportunity with them. So we have the products. We know that the products work. We know that we've got the best products in the world. So why are we afraid to invite to the opportunity? So here's my five tips. So the very first tip is that you want to be real. You want to be real. Um, I am not somebody who loves getting up and working out every morning. I'm just not. And you know what? My Facebook feed knows that. I get up at 5 a.m., maybe once or twice a week and work out. And when I do, I'm like, I'm the best person in the world. I finally got up and did it. Because that's not real for me. I, I'm not that person that can say, I love getting up at 4.30 in the morning and working out. Should I do it? Probably because my day gets away from me. And then I end up working out at 10 o'clock at night. But that's not me. And my followers know that. And my followers know that I'll be like, you know what? I'm going to need like four scoops of Energize to kind of get through this workout. Or I'm going to do this. Or I'm going to do that. We want to be real. And you need to be vulnerable. It's okay to post that you're struggling. There's a difference between being vulnerable and being negative. And when you're vulnerable, it shows that you're real. And it lets people see that you know what, maybe I can do this. She's not perfect, or he's not perfect, or he screwed up, or she missed four days of workouts. Or, you know what, I'm talking about getting on that cruise ship, and I don't plan on working out at all while I'm on boat. I'm going to enjoy myself for five days. 
plenty of people are going to get up and go to every workout and they're going to go to the gym and that's great. And maybe I'll go to one, but it's not me. And I'll say that and I'll probably come back and say that I need a refresh and you want to be real. We are asking people to take a leap with us at the most vulnerable points in their life, when they feel their crappiest or they, they feel the least confident they've ever felt in themselves or they're scared or they're afraid. So why would we not want to be vulnerable with them? Share your story, even if it's scary, because you just may inspire somebody to say, you know what, that sounds like me. And if she was like that a year ago and look at her now, maybe I could do that. Maybe that could be me. So be real and be vulnerable. Um, the next tip is to be confident. Um, there's no comparison game in this business. People like to play the comparison game, but you know what? Your journey is your journey. It's unique to you. And you need to see what your coaches see in you why your coaches think you're a great leader or why your customers think you're an awesome coach. And you need to believe that about yourself and exude that confidence. And if you don't feel confident, get a personal development book that will help you develop that confidence. Because if you don't have that belief in yourself, people won't sign up with you. They won't let you coach them because they'll see that you're hesitant. When you say, you know what? I, I wanna help you. I, I wanna do this. And then when we invite, we're not gonna say, I don't know if this would even interest you. You, may, you probably won't be interested, but that's a really good way to get a no answer right off the bat because you're putting those negative thoughts in their head. Instead of saying, hey Joe, I totally thought of you. I know that um, you, know, you are no longer in the Navy. Thank you for your service to our country. We have this great, great program that just launched today. I think you'd be perfect for it. I would love to talk to you more about it, okay? Once you start that sort of conversation and you give them the option of a base kit or a challenge pack, you don't give them the option to say no. Here's your choices. Well, you could get it with 30 days of Shakeology or you could get it with our performance line. Which one would you like? What's gonna be best for you? We are, we're not going to say, oh, so do you think that you want to get a challenge pack? Maybe you may not want to do it. It's kind of a lot. It's $140. Mm -mm. Be confident. Be confident in that. Um, prior to having my girls, I worked in advertising and I was very, very young. I was 22 when I started, 23 when I started. I had no clue how the real world real world worked. I had no clue how the business world worked. And because I was broke, I assumed everybody was broke. And I was terrified that I would go in and I would, I would talk really big law firms into really small advertising packages because I thought, oh my gosh, that package is like $200 a month. Who can afford that? My rent is like $400 a month and I don't even have the money to pay that. And I was selling myself short. And my boss said to me one day, she handed me a hundred dollar bill and she said, put this in your pocket and don't spend it. And every time you're worried about asking somebody for money, reach into your pocket and touch that hundred dollar bill. And remember that just because you feel like it's a lot of money doesn't mean that they will. But if you act like it's a lot of money, then they're going to as well. Um, the other thing that she taught me is put the ball in their court, give them two options to choose from. So you want to get 22 minute hard courts. Awesome. Have you tried Shakeology or would you be more interested in pairing it with our performance line? Would you like to try 30 days of Shakeology or would you like to try our energize and recover? Here's why I like these. Here's why Shakeology is great, but you can pick which one you'd like. Put the ball in their court. And I used to do the same thing. Once I got the pen in their hand, they were signing the contract. It was just a matter of how much money they were going to sign for once they had that in their hand. Um, and that's something that I taught my coaches and it's something that I've sort of translated into the beach body world is you want to put the ball in their court and give them the options. Um, but you don't give them the option to say that they can't afford it because we've all seen it. They say they can't afford it and then they're out to eat or then they're out shopping or then they're out doing something else. We can find the money for things that we want to. So be confident and
and feel that you know enough about this business and you know enough about the products. And that ties into being a product of the product. You want to be doing a program. Um, whether you're training for a triathlon or we have a lot of runners on my team. I have a girl who's training for an Ironman. I make sure that they're doing a program. Um, the next tip, brand yourself. Okay. Every 400,000 coaches, guys, those corporate images are available to every single person in the network. What's going to make you different? What's going to make you stand out? What's going to make people say, you know what? She looks awesome. Or he looks like a lot of fun. He looks like he would be great to do this, to do this program with. I'm, I'm going to choose him. Why would they choose you? What's something funny? Like what's some, not something funny, but what's something about you that's unique to you? Um, you know, I don't know if you guys, um, I have a, a friend of mine in this network. Her name is Julie Henderson. Julie loves cats. And it's so funny because anytime people see like those cat snuggies or anything like that, she gets tagged in it like 30 times. And it's just something that people know her for. And it's funny. Just like when people see something about somebody with too much coffee or a bunch of wine, they usually will tag me. Um, but I'm known to be like very real. I posted today, I locked my keys in my car. And it was a good thing that I didn't have a boss because I waited at Whole Foods for an hour and a half for somebody to come and let me into my car. Um, and they kind of know that about me, that I'm kind of like all over the place and I'm usually forgetful and I'm always sort of chaotic. Um, but it makes me real and it makes me me. And I don't apologize for it. I just sort of laugh it off and say, you know what? It is what it is. Um, and we move on. So brand yourself and find something that's going to make you unique to you. Maybe it's part of your story. Um, maybe you've lost 50 pounds and you want to help people do that. Maybe you um, struggled with postpartum depression and getting into a workout program and getting into Shakeology was something that really helped you. Um, and share that because you never know who you're going to be inspiring. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about is making a list. We talk about how important our pipelines are. We do that all the time. If you have a goal to get to diamond or you have a goal to get to star diamond, or you have a goal to get to premier or elite, um, you need to have a massive pipeline. Inviting two or three people a day is not going to cut it. But what about the people that surpass our fear of inviting? What about the people that paralyze you to even think about inviting them? Because I know we all have them. So what I tell my coaches to do is um, every couple months we sort of do this. And it's usually once everybody starts to feel like they're kind of in a rut again, um, I remind them of their lists and we go back through them. So everybody has their pipeline that they work through. And what I tell them to do is they get a sheet of paper and it's going to go on their wall or on their whiteboard or on their bulletin board or wherever they do their tracking for their business. And it's going to be separate from their pipeline. And we call it a chicken list. And what it is, is it's 20 people that you think would be amazing, badass, ridiculously awesome coaches. They would sort a diamond. They would hit success club every month. They would recruit like crazy. They would be your next rock star coach. You think they would be amazing. But for some reason, unbeknownst to anybody, you are too chicken shit to invite them to this opportunity. And you know what? I make them reach out to at least two of those people every week. And more often than not, here's the thing, guys. Here's, what we, here's where we seem to forget this. We think that we're the only ones with fear. Fear goes both ways. There are so many times that I've reached out to people that I was like, you know what? She may tell me no, but I really feel like she could rock this business. Um, and the most recent is a new coach on my team. Her name is Christina. I signed her up in November. I went to high school with her. Um, she's a new mom of twin boys. And I was like, she's not going to have time to do this. And I feel like she's going to, uh, I don't know. And I reached out to her and I invited her and she jumped in. She went emerald in her first 30 days signed up three more coaches, she signed up her sister last night, her sister went Emerald today, and I was like, oh my God, I'm so glad I invited you. But here's the thing, for every time you're saying that you're afraid to invite somebody, they may be just as afraid to approach you. 
And I think that we forget that. I think that we forget that just because we're afraid, nobody else can be afraid. And what would happen if you invited somebody that you were terrified to invite to this opportunity, but you reached out to them anyway, and their response back to you was, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that you reached out to me. I really wanted to ask you more about it, but I've been really afraid. It goes both ways, guys. To so be the one to fight that fear and be the one to say, you know what? I'm really glad that I reached out because I was afraid to reach out to you, but I'm so glad that I did. So let's talk more about the opportunity and don't be afraid to ask me any questions that you may have. Um, and the last one, the last tip is be consistent, be consistent, keep inviting because there's so many times that I don't know how long you guys on this call have been coaches. I don't know if some of you are new. Some of you have been around as long as I have, or maybe longer, who knows, but be consistent with it because here's the thing, you know, when we have a product launch, everybody comes out of the woodwork, but in another six weeks or so, or at the beginning of May, when people are start thinking about the kids getting out of school and Mother's Day is gonna come and Father's Day is gonna come and graduations and this and that and life's gonna get in the way and people aren't gonna um, you know, be posting as much because, oh, I'm busy, I don't have time to post on Facebook. I'm scrolling Facebook every day, but I don't have time to post about what I'm doing. Um, and, somebody wants, and somebody wants to get something. And maybe it's a, maybe it's a coach of Matthews and he'll say, you know, Oh, I wanted to do, I wanted to do that Tony Horton thing that came out that really short workout, but he hasn't been posting. I wonder if he's still coaching, but you know what that guy Jason is. So I'm going to reach out to him. So if you worked with him for three months and you stop posting and you disappear, you just wasted three months of your time and then you're going to come back and you're going to go, oh, well, he signed up with someone else. What a jerk. No, you didn't. You weren't consistent. You weren't consistent with it. And, you know, I think people tend to overcomplicate this business. And I think that this is something that um, new coaches can tend to get very overwhelmed by. And, you know, because there's training and there's success club and there's the leadership ladder and there's all these other things. It all comes back to the vital behaviors. This business isn't always easy, but it's simple. And we tend to overcomplicate it. Drink your shake, do your workout, work on yourself, help people do the same thing. All that it comes down to. So be real and be vulnerable, be confident in yourself, be confident, be confident in our products. Um, I don't play the comparison game with our products. I know people will say, well, oh, so-and-so said this about Isogenics or so-and-so said this about, um, you know, Arbon or Juice Plus or Advocare. Let me tell you something. I know less than nothing about any of those products and I don't care to know, to, to know it because it doesn't matter to me because I'm not in the comparison game. It doesn't matter to me that isogenics, you know, and that's the big thing is isogenics, they'll say they use their, their grass-fed whey or their grass-fed cows. And my response to that is, that's great. Here's what Shakeology did for me. Shakeology dropped my cholesterol 40 points. Shakeology helped my husband lose 50 pounds and lower his high blood pressure. Shakeology helped my kids um, because they don't take vitamins. So they drink Shakeology every day and they're healthier. And my kids aren't sick. And... We don't have grass-fed whey because we do an exorbitant amount of volume greater than isogenics, and there's not a grass-fed whey supplier in the world that has the supply. And that's the true story. She's laughing. That's the true story. I had a long talk with Carolina about this at Leadership. There is not a supply big enough in the world to supply Shakeology. We do that much business each month. So that's about all I know about any of the other products. I don't know what, what Advocare has. I don't know what Arbonne has. I don't know the names of any of the products um, because it doesn't matter to me because I know what our products have done for me. And I know that I am the walking billboard that's for Beachbody. That's not the, not the walking billboard that's against Advocare or against Isogenics or against anything else. 
Because when you get caught in that trap, you find yourself having to defend our products. And I'm not in the business of defending anything. Um, I'm not in the convincing business. I'm in the business of changing lives and helping people. And when you can see that and you can consistently invite people to that and remember that, um, your businesses will just sort of take off. Um, I think that's it. I'm kind of, I kind of like went off on another whole tangent. Do you guys have questions? Sorry. <laughs> it was awesome. No, you're awesome. I love it. I love it. Okay, so what kind of questions do we have for Rianne tonight? You guys can all unmute. Hold on. Dare I all unmute everybody? How about I'll let you unmute if you have questions? We don't have like mass chaos. Someone <laughs> asked the name of that person that you were following. I thought you said Vito. Like a oh, Vito. Vito. Vito Lafada. He's a, he's a superstar diamond. Um, you can follow him. It's Vito, V I T O, Vito Lafada. Um, L A F. L A F A T A? I can look. I forget oh. how to spell his name. I'm sure if you type in Vito, he'll show up. Um, and you'll probably have just a bajillion mutual friends and figure out that it's him. Um, yeah, right? Um, yeah. He's great. And I, I follow Vito. He's, he's really positive. He's got great stuff. There we go. Somebody typed it in the box. Beth, thank you. Um, yeah, he spoke at leadership in October and he talked about your, con he talked about confidence. He actually did a wake up call on it. Um, I don't know when it was after leadership last year. Um, so if you guys are somebody who struggles with confidence, um, definitely go and listen to the replay of his national wake up call because it's definitely, um, something that will sort of help you in sort of facing that, that kind of fear that you may have. What other questions do we have? Any questions? No questions? One of the things that I really loved about what, um, I mean, I have a ton of notes, so I love so much about what what Brian was talking about tonight one of the things that really I want to really sink in for you guys is part of her story she talked about how she just started by helping three people I feel like if we focus on just helping three people guys that nails most of your goals for the month just those three people and over time like she's saying she's she's comp she's used the compound effect to get to an outrageous level of success in this company. You know, so it just starts with just, just help three people and that's gonna be your five success club points plus you being a product of the product and you know, it, that's how it all comes together. We try to overcomplicate it and it's so not complicated, it's so simple. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's something that, and we do, we talk about it a lot. You know, um, it, it's people think that it's very complicated, and they say I can't do what you do, and I'm like, I hang out on Facebook all day. How <laughs> is that not complicated? Like, how is that complicated? I hang out on Facebook. I get on these calls. Usually, my kids are crawling on me, um, and it's like the greatest thing ever. I get to work on myself. I get to hang out with awesome people. So, what's so complicated about it? Um, but the three people, that's something that I do even with my discount coaches when they come on. And I say to them, you know, I know you have no interest in working the business. Right now you just want your discount on your shake. But having that discount account or having that wholesale account, um, you know, allows you to use our, what our team calls the, and this comes from Bob Lucido, this is not from me. It's, it's what I call the refer three, get yours free program. Yeah. And it gets discount coaches interested in working mm -hmm. in business and inviting the discount coaches to look a little bit more at the business opportunity. Um, not that they have to jump right in, but they know that that's an option for them. Um, and I think all of my diamonds, with the exception of one, um, started as discount coaches. That's so awesome. And they saw their results and they saw what had happened. And I don't know if it's because I started as a discount coach or what. Um, but I, I want to leave you guys with one thing tonight. And it's something that I, I look back on 
all the time. And it's something that I'm always so incredibly grateful for. Um, I don't know how long you guys have been coaches, but just do me a favor, you guys that are not on the phone, because I can't see the people on the phone. Um, if you feel like Beachbody has changed your life in ways that you can't even believe, you're so grateful for this opportunity, maybe you're more financially stable, maybe you've lost weight, maybe you've just felt better, maybe you've gotten healthier, maybe it's brought you new friendships. If you feel like Beachbody has really done amazing things for your life, just hold up your hand like this for me. Okay. Now, what would have happened if your sponsor was too afraid to invite you to this opportunity? I'd be enormous. Where would you be? <laughs> How would your life be different? And just think about that and what the opportunity has done for you. Don't you want to share that with people? Don't you want to be able to pay that forward? And that's something that I always sort of remind people, like just before you go to bed, just invite one more person, send one more message before you go to bed. Be stuck in a downward spiral. I feel like we probably all would, mm -hmm. um, you know, and this opportunity can change your life if you let it. So bring more people in and help them change their lives. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. Thank you so much, Brianne, for being on tonight. It is, it's been awesome. Thank you for having me. It's been awesome. Just a total breath of fresh air and you just have some great things to share with us tonight. Hopefully the team has lots of notes and I just am honored and humbled that you spent your time with us tonight. Oh, um, I'm happy to. Thank you guys for having me. It's been a pleasure. And team, thank you for spending your time with us tonight with Brianna and myself as we try to lead you and guide you and mold you and shape you to your success. Everyone have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful week as we launch into March. And let's get this party started. You guys have a great night. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.